All right, so what you'll need to crack into this headset is your phalanges, your T8 bit, small Phillips, and a spacer just to make it less of a pain in the ass. I chose a spatula because it fit perfectly and it was nearby. All right, this episode of Stuff and Things is gonna be a little different. It is going to be on fixing my Razer headset. I don't know, the Razer Nari Essential Ultimate Plus 5G, whatever the hell it's called. So, here we go. First things first, you'll want to untuck this. You literally just pull on it all the way around the ear and it'll come right off. Now, make sure that the earpiece you go after is the one with the mic on it, okay? That's, that's the main one. The other side has the rechargeable battery and all that nonsense in it. Earpiece with the microphone. Okay, once you get the cushion off, you'll see four screws. Two are hiding behind the labels, okay? You are going to need a T8 bit, I believe is what this is. Yep, T8. All right, so it doesn't actually. Last time I did this, one of these clips was just loose. So for context, the reason this uh, isn't working, I was wrapping up my New Game Plus on uh, Dying Light 2 last night, and one of the last scenes just decided to make this god-awful, overly bassy, constant noise. I yanked my headphones off of my head because it was killing my ears. Well, I go to play again today, and the right speaker isn't doing anything. This speaker actually worked, but the other speaker is wired up through this one. Okay, so this is what we did. Um, I did, I can actually, let's turn that down now. So I left it on and running um, for obvious reasons so I could hear it when the other speaker decided to start working. So I went through and I just literally unplugged every one of these, kind of blew them out, and then plugged them back in. And now we have sound here. And we have sound here. Yeah, so that's that. Um, it's working again, so. At least I didn't have to solder anything. That's a plus, right? And when you go to put it back on, just get it to catch that little lip and slide into it. And then work your way around, pulling it out and away around the edge. And it will typically do the work itself. Once you get it around far enough, you can put your thumb on the inside of it and kind of just push it up. Boom. There you go. Now, they're not quite perfectly round, so when you're going to put the cushions back on, if you're having issues, put the seam at the bottom of the ear cup. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, this should apply to other headsets too. I do know for a fact though that older Turtle Beach headsets, you had to you had to take something out first so you tear the ear padding. So keep that in mind if you try this with a different headset. Anyways, hopefully someone found this and it fixed their shit. So we'll see you in the next one. Later.